What's going on today guys? It's Kyle from Big Money Mindset and today's video we're going to be going over an EV startup company uh, called Lordstown Motors and basically it's going to be merging with a company called Diamond Peak and you know we'll be taking a look into the company because uh, on my channel we do invest in spec plays uh, we don't invest in penny stocks uh, we are long-term holders and swing traders for my channel and we're just going to take a quick look into my portfolio to see how it's uh, the updates doing and the portfolio has been doing nice we've been seeing a lot of growth this is a five week um, a five week portfolio I've started it's only I've only been having it for five weeks we invested sixteen thousand five hundred and ninety dollars and the portfolio is up to nineteen thousand two hundred and ninety dollars so we've seen a sixteen uh, percent growth in five weeks you know smoking the uh, Dow Jones industrial average with a twenty seven hundred dollar gain and this portfolio does have a lot of room to uh, grow because we have more spec plays in here such as BurgerFi and um, Golden Nugget gambling so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and let you guys know you know I am heavily uh, a believer in spec plays so let's just get into the video uh, Lordstown EV startup will go public via merger with Blank Check Investor. Um, it says that automotive startup Lordstown will be merging with a new investor named Diamond Peak to issue public stock with an uh, initial public offering. This company is following in the footsteps of Nikola, another EV startup that pulled the same move in June, and Fisker which said in July that it is carrying out a similar deal. Lordstown is likely to likely hoping to generate investment using the hype surrounding electric vehicles that has pushed Tesla to be the most highly valued automaker, which, you know, that that's another reason why these companies are going in at this time because there's so much hype where they can get uh, a good boost in the company's value, you know, right away because of the, you know, the hype that's going on. So, how Lordstown Motors plans to disrupt the electric uh, vehicle sector. Uh, Lordstown Motors is partially owned by Workhorse. Hopes to make a splash by producing an electric pickup to compete with household names. EV truck rollouts. Electric vehicles are slowly being the industry standard. And the next validation point is proving that electricity utility vehicles such as pickups and semis can serve the industry just as well, if not better. Than internal combustion options. So their new uh, EV truck is called the Endurance. It is set to hit the market next year. And basically, you know, the company believes that its dedication to all electric power and light duty utility will set its products apart from electric options made by more traditional brands. And we can see that. Um, let's take a look into, you know, what they believe they're going to sell. Here we go. Lordstown Motors CEO Steve Burns says he is keeping all 6.2 million square feet of the former General Motors car assembly plant, even though only 20,000 trucks are planned initially. So they only plan on selling about 20,000. We didn't want to shrink anything. And then later when we're trying to make 400,000 vehicles, a year so basically you know they have an oversized warehouse and you know they don't plan on you know selling the warehouse back uh, to the company they bought it from which is General Motors because he plans on getting his sales all the way up to 400,000 which you got to understand the cyber truck for Tesla is planning on selling 650,000 pre-orders as the new report uh, this past week so this guy does have some high expectations, of course, you know, he's got the, you know, the media is, you know, in his uh, face, you know, he's got to, you know, keep the uh, the stock hype up, of course. So as far as the addressable market of the 2.8 million pickup trucks sold annually, the U.S. Burns estimates 600,000 are class one work trucks weighing 6,000 pounds or less. Um, Lordstown Motors could produce that many endurance trucks a year. If we're fortunate to have that much demand so you know he is sounds like he's getting a little bit uh, ahead of himself but um, you know the main the main factor is is it gonna be an overall 
good performing product? Is it physically appealing? You know, which we can take a look right here. You know, it looks like a solid truck. Um, I do believe the high, uh, the Cybertruck, you know, is a far more appealing product. So it, I don't really see, you know, too many, um, too many crazy, you know, aesthetic peels from the vehicle. From from what I'm looking at, it looks looks like an average truck to me. You know, so the benefit is all electric. You know, fuel economy, uh, saving money over time. So that is a big benefit. You know more of the payload and pull, you know, how much uh, torque it has, you know, that could, you know, play a big factor in how many products they sell. Uh, sell. So uh, the Motley Fool says um, GM 75 million include, investment includes in-kind contributions that have already been made having to do with the warehouse. Lordstown will receive about 675 million in gross proceeds, enough to get the endurance into production. The pro forma equity value of the combined company is about $1.6 billion. So this is a little bit similar to price valuations of uh, Hylion as far as, you know, what they you know are putting the market value via SPAC. So that is a pretty solid, um, you know, it's not overvalued like Nikola that was getting up to like 20, 30 billion, you know, out of, out of this world number. So that, that's a good sign. And um, let's take a look at the vehicle. You know, personally, I believe, uh, you know, that that workhorse truck. You know, I think it has a tougher a tougher look to me. You know, I, I prefer the work the workhorse truck. You know, more than the um, the Lordstown. You know, it looks a little bit tougher. I like the grill. I just feel like the you know they might need to you know make a little bit of changes to the vehicle. It doesn't look like it. It it wows the uh, you know the uh, the buyers compared to the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck is just you know on a new level of like design. You know they took it to the, the next level. So you know Lordstown. You know definitely. You know there's so many EV companies in the market right now. So you definitely uh, if you are investing, you know you want to keep all of your eggs out of one basket. You know. Definitely diversify, like I've been preaching. You know that's the best way. You know you're gonna uh, come out on top as far as uh, landing a big a big hit in your portfolio. You know, uh, getting a big growth. So you got to be well diversified in these spec plays, just like I am. You know, I'm investing in uh, Lancadia Holdings, Opez. I'm eyeing Shell uh, this week, highly on, and you know I'm more leaning towards the workhorse route. You know, workhorse is not worrying about uh you know other other products appealing you know they're they're more of a delivery product which i like and that that benefits them a lot you know they're not worried about you know product uh appeal you know they're just more for fuel economy you know trying to get that uh that big deal that big contract so we'll take a look at the stock just to see what kind of movement it's been having of course they've already made their way into the top 5 which is insane, you know, on blank check companies on Robinhood. They've already moved their way into the top five, the five. So as you can see, the the hype is happening, you know, it's happening quick. And, you know, they've already got 23,000 buyers, you know, in a matter of a couple of days. And I'm, I'm pretty sure this is going to be going a lot higher uh, for sure, you know, possibly all the way up to Spartan Energy acquisition. So in my opinion, you know, the best way to play this stock is because the thing is, this company I was looking up is going to be merging in quarter four. So what you need to realize is you have plenty of time to invest in this company. Um, quarter three is not even over. So, you know, you don't want to be already getting caught up there, and you know, in the crazy prices. Just let the stock die down. Let the penny stock day traders, week traders do their thing. Let them make their money. And if you, you know, plan on this company, you know, having an opportunity in the future as far as making big time sales, like you said, what was it, 400000 you know, then you can invest in the company, you know. You could probably wait it out a month or so and you'll, you'll be able to get right back in at 11 or 12. So don't play into the hype, you know. Everyone is impatient. Majority of people are impatient. I'm not saying everyone's impatient. Majority of people are, are impatient. So 
And on my channel, you know, we got patience, you know. We're not talking 10 years. We're not talking 20 years, you know. I'm cool with waiting a couple of years, you know, to make big money, you know. Get that that uh, that big tax uh, break, you know, at that one-year mark. You know, that's another thing you got to take into uh, consideration. And, you know, just, just hop on these uh, spec plays when they die down, man. I, I hopped on Opez at 11, Lancadia at 12. I'm waiting for uh, Shell to get into that, that 16, 15 range. So just just play this spec, you know, slowly. You know, take your time. You know, it's not going nowhere. Quarter four is, you know, months away. So you have plenty of time. So overall, you know, they are, you know, correlated with Workhorse. You know, Workhorse does own some of the company. Uh, they acquired the company. And basically, I give the product, you know, like a 7.5 as far as appeal. You know, we have to see, like, what kind of performance it's doing. You know, is it one of those performance vehicles like Nikola put on their, um, you know, their website with the 700 horsepower, you know, faster than a, you know, a, a Tesla? I mean, stuff like that. You know, that, you know, that does, you know, improve the overall value of the vehicle. So, you know, we just got to wait and, uh, you know, give it a little bit more time for the, you know, more product uh, development stages for this merger to come through. And, you know, we could just play it by ear. So, you know, it could be a, a solid spec play for sure. Um, just do your due diligence and, you know, you'll be fine in the long run. So uh, thank you for watching. You know, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked the video, drop me a like. And if you are looking for more updated stock videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel at Big Money Mindset. And we'll be giving you that content for sure. Have a great day.